2D sonar, GPS, down imaging, side imaging. For a lot of new Humminbird users, it's hard to decide what to get and what features they really need. So in this video, I'm going to show you some images that will help clarify the advantages of down imaging and side imaging and also Mega 360, which is you know, some of the later technology that has come out. Check out the following 2D images, down imaging, side imaging, Mega 360 imaging, and see what's right for you. It's totally a personal choice. And for some, Chirp GPS, 2D sonar in your GPS unit is all you're ever going to need and you'll be quite happy with it. But some people want a little bit more. So check out the following images and see if you fall into that category. And then it becomes an educated decision as to what's best for you. As always, if you find this video helpful, a like, share, subscribe is always appreciated. Enjoy the images. And after the images, I'm going to show you my setup so that you can take advantages of all different kinds of images for your boat. And enjoy. 2D sonar is great for finding bait fish and game fish. Here are some 2D images of Lake Simcoe Perch. This is a cool 2D image of a group of active herring swimming around. This image shows some Lake Erie smallmouth bass and sheephead. Same image and down imaging clearly shows the size difference between smallies and sheephead and separating the fish from the bottom. The down imaging view on the right clearly shows that there is a tree here. This 2D down imaging view shows a couple of fish adjacent to a rock. In this 2D image, you can see the fish suspended above the bottom. This down imaging view shows the same group of fish. I believe they are crappy. The red shows a thick group of fish suspended just above the bottom. The same image in down imaging looks like pike trying to eat the crappy. Side imaging reveals weed pockets to the left of the boat as well as a weed edge. Scattered rocks hold lots of crayfish, so therefore are lots of bass. Side imaging can help you find rock piles like this one to the right of the boat. Side imaging can also help you find transition areas such as this soft bottom to rock pile. The Mega 360 shows an emerging wee point just ahead of the boat. Here is a down imaging view of the weeds that you saw in the Mega 360 and you can see that they are not up to the surface so without the Mega 360 you wouldn't see them. The boat is sitting in the middle of the weed bed. With the Mega 360 you can clearly see distinct weed lines. In this image you can see a transition area just ahead of the boat. The round oval structure in the 1 to 2 o'clock position is about 8 feet long. What do you think it is? This Helix G2N unit is a Chirp GPS. It used to be at the front of my boat, but I decided that I really wanted down imaging at the front of my boat because I could see things better with my down imaging and it also helped to clarify some of the things that I was seeing on 2D. So. It ended up here at my console and I use it for my mapping unit when I am driving. I also use this unit for my high speed transducer 2D readings while I am running the boat at open throttle. Two Helix 12 MDI Plus units G3N allow me to take full advantage of all different images at the front of my boat. As you can see in the distance, the Mega360 transducer is there, so I can get my Mega360 images. As well, I can get side imaging from my Mega360 transducer, so I have that covered. And I have the built-in MDI on my Ultrax trolling motor, so that has 2D down imaging. So with this setup, you can get all the images and eventually when mega live which is hopefully coming soon i will be able to take advantage of that as well 
The unit on the right is a Humminbird G3N side imaging plus unit. If you buy a side imaging unit from Humminbird, it is going to have the ability to do 2D sonar, down imaging, and side imaging, as well as being able to accommodate the Mega 360 and the Mega Live when it comes out. In order to accommodate the Mega 360 or Mega Live, it must be G3N or G4N, and it must be a plus unit. So make sure that you understand that completely. Thanks again for watching this video. And as always, a like, share, subscribe is always very much appreciated. And stay tuned for the next one. I think you're gonna like it. I'm going to go into more detail on side imaging. So stay tuned and we'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.